guys for tuning in to Kerrika TV. I'm Erica Lasan, and today we have another Talk About It Tuesday session where this week I'm going to be talking to you guys about the What I Know Now brunch hosted by the Uniquely You Summit. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I was able to attend and it was an amazing, amazing time. I got a direct message from my best friend Cheryl all the way out in California. She's still looking out for me, even 3,000 miles away, telling me that Tiana Parrish was looking to bring a couple of people down to the brunch. I sent her a direct message uh, explaining why I would love to attend the brunch and she chose me ah, I know crazy this is the night before so the next day Nick and I drove down to Philadelphia we decided to make it a day trip thing while I was at the brunch he was running around the city of Philadelphia doing what he does training it was an awesome awesome time and as always you know that I wanted to take you guys along for the ride so I did a mini vlog about the experience there uh, including some of the panel discussion which I thought was so so necessary not only for um, young girls but young women as well or women in general it was just an all-around amazing conversation but in any case I'm gonna let you guys see what happened check it out I'm in your city to attend the what I know now women's brunch I'm really excited Babe, can I? Yeah. Look at who I'm here with! Kind of like the accidents it can cause. Yeah. So, I'm really excited to get to meet and sit down with some amazing women who are out and about trying to make the world a better place for women of color um, right, and people deal. in general. Okay, I gotta help direction. Oh, it's so cute. It's really fancy and cute. And I'm so excited to see what we end up coming across. I'm really, 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 really excited. I think it's going to be a great discussion. Uplifting our race and especially the young women because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that we could afford to talk about that doesn't get discussed. Anymore. So, we'll see. Catch you on that side. Everybody, feel. Everybody, don't. Y'all all right? I'm trying to get in this chair. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, so this is what I know now. But the first part of that is, if I knew then what I know now. What is your if I knew then story? I know we have millions, but pick one that's pretty significant to you. When I created a black studies major in college, when there wasn't one, and uh, what I know now is black people are beautiful and powerful beyond measure. And we have all of the resources within our communities to strive and thrive and not just survive. My, my dad died and, and I think the circumstances around him dying, what I know now because of that is that legacy is everything. And that you have to pull and from the people you come from and be proud of them no matter what the situation. Love them even though it's complicated. Love them even though it's hard. Love them, love them, love them because you only get one family. You only get one group to come from. I struck out on faith and said I'm gonna move to LA and try this acting thing. I was broke as hell, um, was staying on a twin size bed in my 14 year old cousin's room, couldn't get a call back, couldn't get anything, but I'm chasing this dream, chasing it, car breaking down every two, whatever, y'all get it, it was rough, and I was strong arming everything, I was like, I gotta do this, if my hair is straight, I can get this job, if I lose this weight, I can get this job, I'm gonna make this happen, and just so much energy trying to strong arm my future and my what I want it to be my reality and I just broke I broke and what I learned what I know now is that giving over to God he will always yes. always carry you. that peace that we were talking about earlier there is no greater gift because I 
Yes. Um, so that that is what I learned that yes. I don't need to strong arm. I don't need to force everything to happen how I want it to happen and when I want it to happen. But to just be and be and work on me, work on this, work on this relationship, and God will take care of everything else. Um, you guys know I've been married 26 years, and um, that amazes me. And I think the greatest lesson I learned was to forgive. That um, nobody is perfect. And that if I had not forgiven, I wouldn't have the joy I have today. My husband is my best friend. He is my prince. He is a good man, he's a great man, and he wasn't always. And that grace that he received made him want to change. You have to love people out. And I'm not saying that every person warrants that reaction, but mine did. And I have the marriage that I prayed for when I was 17. And it didn't come overnight, but it did come. By his actions. I, my lear I learned my um, greatest lesson when my mom married State Senator, Philadelphia State Senator Vincent Hughes. Um, I, 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 I learned that because I saw, for me, I saw my black superhero mom, like, I saw her be able to be loved by, by a person who truly deserves to be loved. We talked about that, you know, that black superwoman mom and that, that, that black superwoman in general and how it can hurt us, but I finally saw her. She went through all her superhero struggles from saving everybody else and this this one person was able to give her what she deserved and I was able to I was able to gain a dad from that and that's what I really needed. So that was that's what I know now. Relationship turn into the worst thing ever, leaving me with no money and no sense of self. Extremely depressed while I was working, putting on that good face. Behind the scenes, I was devastated. Six months, he was not my husband. He was just a boyfriend. And it took me three years to financially recover from that six month relationship and 15 years to get back to who Tiffany was prior to then. What I learned was that I didn't love myself and I didn't know until he showed up. So what I know now is that I am worthy of them. What I know now is that I had signs before I made the decision to be in that situation and I ignored them. God is speaking through me, and he's speaking to me in actions, in words, in events. And I need to pay attention to that. And if I don't, I could lose my life. I try to give any, anyone and everyone a chance if they're doing something good. But in Shalia, I saw something extra, something so real. She was so dedicated to helping young black women. And I'll never forget, you know, she, we laugh about the 36 girls she had before coming into my studio. And every day, more and more girls <laughs> came on board. She would call me with such excitement. We're up to 50, we're up to 75. We're, uh, she was just so elated that she was one by one touching another young black girl. and. I don't, know, I don't know if I really deserve to be honored today, but I know that God blessed me to be a vehicle, nothing else, to put a positive thing on the radio, a, a positive organization. And when I attended the first summit, I, I got emotional. When I saw the young ladies that showed up and the questions that they had and the answers they were given, it was truly remarkable of your selflessness and incipient belief in Uniquely You Summit for the love of black girls. And I love my black girls, I love you too. For the love of black girls, 
what I know now, brunch, and it was awesome. Thank you so much, Tiana. I mean, I'm really glad that I was able to attend. And uh, Shalia, you have an awesome organization. Thank you so much for putting that together. You really are inspiring, not just black girls, but black women as well. The brunch was an amazing time. That was just a snippet of the great conversation that took place that day. I'm just gonna let you guys see the rest of what happened throughout the day. Afterwards, we ended up walking around uh, Philadelphia and it ended up being a cute little time for the both of us to spend together. We're in Philly! not trying to participate. I had a little rocky moment on the stairs. If you would like to attend the Uniquely You Summit, or if you know of any young girls that you feel would benefit from the experience of being a part of the Uniquely You Summit, please visit uniquelyusummit.org because the world needs it. <laughs> the world needs the conversations that are taking place here, the advice that's being given, and for our young girls to feel that they are worthy of everything that the world has to offer, and that they're capable of creating whatever it is that they can imagine, whatever they dare to dream is possible. Um, Hashtag for the love of black girls. Sound off below, leave a comment below letting me know what you would do differently if you knew then what you know now. Um, and how you feel like what you know now could possibly help other young women or girls. But until next time guys, if you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel. There's awesome content happening every week. Check it out, and until later guys, I hope you have a great week. Live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye. Oh, hey Rocky. How you doing, buddy? How was that run? Spectacular. All right. Life is waiting for us to show up and share our talents and live out our dreams one declaration at a time. So make a list of goals that you would like to complete yourself and then, you know, start working towards them every day. And that was literally like my life growing up and not knowing that there was a world of opportunities out there. But for some reason, always having a sense of wonder and adventure as a kid. I knew that there was something bigger out there, but, you know, I just didn't know how to find it.